everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 635 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today, I am so excited to finally be trying this out. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and well, I've been just wanting to try this out for so long, ever since I heard, you know, Jeffree Star, Ally Glines talking about how much they love it and I really respect their opinions. Those are two of my favorite YouTubers. So of course I had to try it if they love it. But also I bought this right before all of my October Ipsy glam bags arrived. So I didn't try this yet because I was trying out all of my Ipsy products. So I just kept thinking about this and being so anxious to finally try it out. And today's the day. But also this just sounds like my perfect product because it's supposed to moisturize and smooth the skin it contains squalane to help hydrate which i definitely need my skin has been so dry lately within the past week it got super dry i think that might be because i have a cold now and it's gotten really cold weather wise <laughs> but i really need the hydration from this and I suffer with large pores along my cheeks, my nose, a little bit on my chin, and this is supposed to smooth over imperfections for a poreless effect. So hydration, pore filling, that is what I'm looking for. And I've also never tried out a putty type of primer, so I'm excited to be trying out just like another texture type product because that's always exciting for me as well and I love elf I try out so many elf products on my channel if not my favorite brand one of my favorite brands I love that it's cruelty free this is also vegan and it retails for only eight dollars I got this at Ulta but you know what I saw like pretty much the day after I bought this from Ulta. The e.l.f. website was doing a gift with purchase type of deal where you got a free e.l.f. poreless putty when you spent probably only like $25 or so. I'm not too sure on the details, but they always do really great deals like that. And I'm like, wow, figures. The day after I bought it, at least it was only $8. But I could have done that e.l.f. website deal. But oh, so pretty. It has this light pink color to it, although it does say it's a universal sheer shade so i'm really excited to just feel the texture so it feels yeah like a balm right now like it's not as soft as i was expecting so it says to apply a thin amount to moisturized skin and that's what i have my skin is freshly cleansed and moisturized Okay, and I'm just gonna focus this on one half of my face so that I can really tell if there is a difference. But uh, yeah, right away it is minimizing my pores drastically. I really do love the texture of this on my skin because it does just feel like I'm adding like a very hydrating cream. I know that some people just apply it to the parts of their face that they have the large pores, but since my whole face has been so dry lately, I'm going to just apply this everywhere. And yeah, it definitely is sheer. I'm not seeing any tint of color or anything like that. Let's just make sure I added a good amount onto my nose and to my cheeks because this is where my pores are the largest and yeah i can definitely see a smoother effect the pores look blurred they look minimized looks like i have fewer pores on this side compared to this cheek here so i'm really happy to see that it's already giving me a smoothed out poreless effect. Not completely poreless right now, but 
We'll see when I put the makeup on top of it, if it still looks smooth, but we're off to a good start. Ooh, and it has a bit of tackiness to it as well. And is that what the squalene is supposed to do? The squalene, squalene is supposed to help moisturize and grip makeup. So I'm definitely feeling like a great grippy texture. And we'll just finish up applying it all over the rest of my face. I keep having to dip my finger back in, like I can't pick up that much product at once. But that's okay, but this is just not the quickest primer to apply. It's not like it takes that long, but... I'm so happy with how my skin is feeling right now. It has like a hydrated, moisturized texture, but it doesn't have any glow but it's also not super mattified. So I really love just like the finish to my skin as well. But now I'm going to apply my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation on top of this. So two e.l.f. products, this will probably complement each other very well, but also this is just the foundation that I always use when I review my primers because this foundation really lets me tell how my skin is underneath since it doesn't have certain skin enhancing ingredients to it. I'm definitely seeing right away that the primer is grabbing on and gripping the foundation, which I really like, that helps give more coverage. You don't have to worry about the foundation slipping away. But because of that grippiness, you can see I'm just really dabbing the foundation on. And believe it or not, this sponge that I'm using, this is the sponge that I use every day. This is from AOA Studio. It's like a dollar, maybe two dollars. But this is the AOA Studio Wonder Mochi, Mochi sponge. And it seriously feels like a beauty blender. It performs like a beauty blender. I absolutely love this sponge. So I will link down below my reviews on this sponge and this foundation if you wanna see my full dedicated reviews on these products. But yeah, I'm definitely using less foundation than I normally need because this primer is gripping the foundation so well, but it still looks completely smooth and even. It's not like it's gripping it and causing any texture or buildup. It still looks so smooth and natural. And now to see if my pores look smooth and seriously it's like what pores there are no large pores on my face like i'm looking right up close with my mirror and if i said oh i have large pores like you would be like no you don't where do you have large pores like my cheeks my nose it doesn't even look like i have pores there seriously this is Perfect. This is exactly how I wish my skin was naturally, but how I want my makeup to look like This is the effect That I love Seriously, like I can have anyone come up close to me and they're not going to be able to know that underneath this kind of It's not full coverage foundation either, but just underneath this medium I guess coverage foundation and this putty primer I actually have large pores and I have like some blackheads on my nose as well but you don't even see any of that it just looks like smooth flawless skin and I am so happy and excited as for the texture let's see am I looking dry anywhere no no dryness no cakiness just smooth natural looking skin 
love this. And the finished texture, I would say it's more on the matte side of things. There's not really any dewiness or glow, but it's not dry. So it looks just like natural. Like I almost look like I don't even have foundation on, which is my goal. So this combo right here, absolutely amazing. But this product, oh, it seriously lives up to the hype. I am so happy to finally have this in my collection. This is a product that I'm going to be wearing every day because after seeing how perfect it makes my skin look, I can't not have my skin looking this way, right? But I know that this is a very popular product, so if you've tried it, I would love to know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. And also, I would just love to know what your favorite e.l.f. products are. I've tried out so many, but there are still so many more that I want to try out, so I'd love to get some recommendations. And thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day, and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.